Hello everyone, my name is HED01 and I'm here today to give you my thoughts on a recent purchase I've made. Um, those of you that know me know I am a huge wrestling fan and have been for almost 20 years now. And when I first started to watch uh, WWE wrestling, I was a huge fan of a certain championship. That championship design changed in 1998 and I was uh, bitterly disappointed when that happened. The other day I, ref I was reflecting on the things that I was really wanting to get my hands on as I had started a new job. And with a new job comes new purchasing power. And I figured you only live once, so I made a significant purchase, a significantly priced purchase. I'm going to leave it at that because the uh, the people in the know know how much this thing costs. Now I will stress this thing that I've got is a commemorative edition, and I will stress that again as I take you through the review of... The WWE Intercontinental Championship Replica Commemorative Edition. Now, the first thing that struck me was the absolute size of the blooming thing. It is massive. And it is my goal to gain a proper one, a proper uh, metallic um, replica once I meet certain conditions uh, you know proper replicas uh, can cost and do cost inwards of anything from say 250 pounds to around about uh, 300 pounds for a what they call normal replica uh, what you, they do actually have you know super replicas that are casted have got real leather and they're in with a 600 pounds now only the richest of the rich can afford that this is made of high quality acrylic plastic but all the same this thing has been on my wanted list as i was telling you earlier uh, for around about 15 years plus uh, i remember in an art class in year eight um i had to do a painting of things that I wanted most in the whole world and I actually drew this particular belt uh, all the way back then and year 8 for me was 1996 so around about 17 years I've been waiting for this um, it is absolutely beautiful I always thought the white strap version was the best uh, strap uh, version of the Intercontinental title um it really is the dog's undercarriage as far as i'm concerned like i say i've wanted it for um 15 plus years i do apologize about the shakiness of the camera but i'm using a playstation 3's eye playstation eye camera and i'm literally holding this above so i do apologize for the unsteadiness of the shot as we go round to the left hand side of the belt you can see the uh female snaps so to speak uh, with the WWE what they call tooling in the middle of it now this belt is obviously simulated leather or the closest they can get to simulated leather it is really unflexible I'll show you that in a few moments time as we move along to the right and the two I'll get in a bit closer so you can see that the two uh, plates middle you know side plates on the left not tremendously brilliant detail but then again it is only a commemorative replica meant for display purposes so we move on to the main part of it the main plate which is absolutely stunning i'm quite surprised how light the blue in the globe is but uh, when cody rhodes brought this one back in hell in a cell 2011 i was overjoyed because I knew replica belts were going to be made of this thing. And I was going to finally, finally have a chance to get it after all these years. Um, you know, this is significantly cheaper than the metal uh, replica. 
that there is um you know when certain conditions have been met i will be getting the uh, metal replicas of probably every belt that's been made i'm a huge fan of wrestling i have been for nearly 20 years now uh, as you can see it's got all the stars and the new wwe logo this is actually the belt currently held by curtis axel um mr perfect son and you know like father like son great intercontinental champions i always thought that this was the best belt ever and I still do to this day. It's an absolutely beautiful belt. So we move along to the right plates. It's actually the same as the left ones, obviously, other side. And the throwback, where they had the old what type of champion you were. And obviously the snaps, the male snaps this side. And a fake gold tip at the end which is obviously all plastic. Now it is all plastic. I'll show you the uh, rigidity, rigidity uh, section of the belt. As you can see, it's not, let me, I do apologize for all of that. Let me come out a bit more. It's not flexible at all. This is brand new. I got this in the post uh, yesterday and I'm just ecstatic with it because it really is what I've been wanting all these years. You know, you you may call me sad, or you may call me uh, a bit of a bit of a weird case about wanting in a wanting a replica championship belt. But there are millions of people like me all over the world that love WWE, that love wrestling in general, and you know it's it's well worth what I paid for it. I'm a little bit disappointed in the lack of um, uh, movement in the belt, but it, like I say, it is brand new. You're not going to get any uh, folds and anything. Now, I am, of course, aware of the uh, shaving foam trick. Um, I don't know if that applies also to, uh, you know, commemorative replicas. And I will do my research into that. If anyone watching can tell me if the shaving foam trick can actually work on... Uh, commemorative editions of these belts then that'd be great however i will point out if i flip the belt over and flip the belt over again sorry about this that it isn't they are the plate so-called screws now i don't know if they're proper screws underneath i would suggest that they're not which means that any uh shaving foam trick probably won't work but as you can see officially licensed wwe product which I'm extremely happy with. This has come out extremely recently. I think this is in the last couple of months that this has been uh, put into uh, production and an official um, WWE uh, sticker there to say that it is WWE official product. It's very basic material, as you can see. It's, uh, you know, it's exactly what... what uh, was required now what i'll do i apologize for the state of me but uh, this is me as you can tell in my um normal uh, persona uh <laughs> this isn't what i wear on a day-to-day -day basis i do apologize but if i offend you and if i do tough but um this is this is basically the title draped over my shoulder i am not the thinnest person in the world so hence i cannot and will not at the moment uh put it around my waist because i'm less than thin i will show you the length of the darn thing i was surprised at the, at the whole size of it this thing is huge this thing is absolutely huge this is adult size and it just Proved to me that how big wrestlers actually are you know this they're they're huge monsters they are huge monsters and you know the, the greats that have held this belt you you know them if you're watching this video you you know exactly who's held this belt but i th i think you know considering what he's doing right now for the company as a whole triple h is a fucking genius if he's the one that gave the go-ahead for this belt to be put back in a circulation, then absolutely fantastic. If it was anyone else, you know, a former IC champion or whoever, uh, you know, 
has given us you know this belt back then I thank them to to the ends of the earth because I've managed to get hold of a personal dream you know 17 years is a long time to wait for anything and uh, it's it's worth waiting for if you are a passionate wrestling fan like myself then get out there get whatever you want in terms of replica belts I assume that considering you know this is a current title literally as Curtis Axel is carrying around with him I assume that older replicas like the winged eagle WWF championship you know held by the likes of Hogan Savage Hitman Sean uh, they might not come into force in terms of uh, commemorative replicas but this is the cheaper option and you know I, I had the money for it and I thought fuck it I live one I'm gonna live once and uh, so that's about it as I say there's no um, I know this isn't technically a word but there's no bendability in this thing whatsoever I mean obviously you can fold it up and because it is new simulated leather you will have difficulties it does snap up as you uh, might have guessed I will attempt to do it now for you as you can tell this is as it is new it is, it is quite difficult to do and uh, this thing fits up to a 46 inch waist it will give me an incentive to lose the required weight as I say there's the thing uh, snapped up and I, I still think it's a beautiful bastard it's you know I, I apologize for swearing if you're a, a parent watching this with a kid but when you've wanted something as long as me and as long as you've wanted you know this thing that I have you're gonna you're gonna use uh, inappropriate language but that's about it this that's my look for the uh, look through for the intercontinental uh, commemorative replica you know I'm sure the um, rigidality if that's even a word again uh, will stop but I absolutely in love this it's absolutely beautiful I always thought it was and I always think it will be so leave any tips uh, comments and suggestions I am planning on getting one more uh, commemorative belt and that's the new WWE Championship that was uh, debuted this year by The Rock uh, just before Wrestlemania this year but and uh, I'd probably do another video when I get that one but um, I'm not planning on getting it anytime soon unless I uh, really make a lot of money and really do a lot of overtime but one thing I will ask any family members watching please do not broadcast this thing um, it was a little bit of an impulse buy and a little bit of a secret purchase and these things let's just say they're not terribly expensive but it's it's a purchase that in retrospect I shouldn't have made but when you have money for something and you want something really badly you will get it so um, I apologise for the unsteadiness of the camera, I apologise for the uh, language used in this particular video but I had to make a video because there's not many videos of the commemorative belt at the very least on YouTube I finally got something I've been wanting all these years so I thought I'd broadcast it for you so I thank you for watching and hopefully in a matter of weeks or months you'll get another video from me virtually the same thing but the WWE Championship the big logo as they call it so thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time